skin, big bandage. I am actually wearing my old tag shorts. <laughs> I've got 30 minutes to record this, so I'm here for you guys. Welcome back to the Acne Channel, Peter Progress 23, aka Elizabeth here. Today's focus is about self love. Now, what made me want to do this video is because I've been reading through my DMs from you guys, and some people have been asking me, Liz, how did you get a boyfriend? Mm, because I'm beautiful, because I'm funny. What else? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm being a little bit arrogant there. But they asked me, how did your boyfriend get comfortable with your skin journey? Like, how is he not bothered by it? I mean, how is that possible? Doesn't he get bothered by your oily skin, Liz? Or doesn't he get kind of like grossed out by your pimples and your scars on your face? Like, this is my scars. I'll show you. I hope you guys can see those scars. I have, a, I have a little bit of makeup on. Well, it's like BB cream, so it's a little bit tinted moisturizer. But that's all I put in. It's non clogging. Okay. And then I looked at that message and I realized, hey, this person really needs some reassurance. So I wrote a really, really long message and I realized, hey, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are feeling this way too. So I wanted to make a video. And I have a few, you know, tips for you guys to kind of use so you can be more confident in your own skin and realize that people can love you and look beyond your outer appearance. Tip number one, don't surround yourself with people who make you feel insecure. If you are talking to them and they are looking at your skin like, mmm, mmm, like that, just end the conversation short and walk away because they are not worth your time. They purposely made you feel uncomfortable. And you can just sense that vibe when they, you know, stare at your skin and say, mmm, yeah, she has really bad skin. Like you just know when they're kind of treating you in that manner. So just, just leave it. They're not worth your time. Tip number two. If someone stares at your face but they don't mean to stare at your face, it's just like, that's just how people are sometimes because they stare at things that they are unfamiliar with. That's okay. Just realize that just because that they're staring at your skin, just continue to make eye contact and continue the conversation with confidence and not worry about your skin. Because actually when that happens and the conversation flows, the other person is more likely to be engaged with what you're saying instead of your skin. So conversations that have quality and have content and that is exciting or meaningful or whatever will grab the person who you're talking to's attention. So they won't be focused on your skin anymore. So you just gotta kind of jump over that hurdle and realize it's just a little phase. They're gonna be staring in the beginning, but they're gonna forget about it soon. And also you're gonna forget about it as well. Tip number three. When trying to find a partner or you are talking to a guy or talking to a girl and you feel a little bit insecure about your skin and that's the only thing on your mind, the best thing to do is actually talk about it. Verbally discuss what's going through your mind with the person you are interested in. Because most likely if you're thinking about it and you're averting your eyes elsewhere, the person is probably going to know that your mind is elsewhere and that you're focused on a different topic instead of them. And if they truly care about you, they would really want to know what's on your mind. Never bottle things up. I find that when I was in the early stages of dating my boyfriend, which is like the first three months, I bottled up my emotions a lot. I did not talk about my insecurities and I felt like that weighed a lot like on my chest and just our relationship was at a halt. There was like a wall between us and like I built a wall pretty much and he couldn't see what's going on. He didn't understand. He, all he saw was like a person who hid her feelings and I feel like he couldn't grow with me and that impeded our relationship. And I was like enough is enough. I can't keep this to myself and if my relationship is going to go anywhere the best thing I can do is actually communicate with him and speak to him about my emotions, about what's going on with my skin. I sat him down and I'm like, babe, I have been feeling really down lately because of my skin. My cheeks are hurting and they're red and they're really sore and I'm trying to kind of heal my skin but I just don't know what's going on with my body and I'm really frustrated. 
and he was just listening to me the whole time. I was talking about how I was afraid of Accutane and I never want to take it, which I'm still strong about, which will be another video. But he really sat there and listened and it made a world of a difference to our relationship. What he basically did was he was holding my hand, he gave me a hug and said thank you for opening up to me because now I know what you're going through and that's all I want to do for you. I want to be there for you, I want to listen to you, whatever's going through your mind because I want to get to know you more and more. And he was like, because you're worried about what's going on in your body, we are going to eat some healthy food. I'm going to take you to a nice restaurant. So get ready and let's go. And it was the best talk of my life. I felt so carefree. I felt really liberated. And that's all I want for you guys. I want you to realize that, again, I know I'm repeating myself, but realize that people can love you for who you are instead of what you look like. My favorite quote is, people who mind don't matter and people who matter don't mind. This is a short video because I just want to show you that it's a simple thing to realize and that nothing is hard. You can get to where you want to be. Just keep on trying and never give up. It's that kind of motivation that will get you through life. I'm feeling great vibes and I'm ready for my game tonight. You can find me on Peter Progress 23 on Instagram, YouTube and Facebook. I love you all. See you guys later.